before you went to go study, right? Mm-hmm. You said you spoke to some of the scholars, Sheikh Abdul Razak, mm-hmm. and others from the stu- students. Was there anything in particular they wanted you to focus on while studying that? Absolutely. That I- it's, 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 it's good that you asked that because it was a brother who, at the time, I think he was, he might have just completed his bachelor in the Kulia Hadith. Mm. And he was translating for me. Mm-hmm. So when I was with him, I kept asking, you know, why, why? you know, I met uh, Sheikh Abdul Razak. I kept asking, I asked the Sheikh, you know, Kether, what Kether? Like, mm-hmm. And the Sheikh kept saying, if Father Al Ba'in, then that will be. Allah I kept saying, memorize 40 hadith. Allah so I said, no. okay, because this is how the translation kept coming <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah. Said, yeah, yeah. He said, memorize 40 hadith. Okay, All right, that's cool. Now, but Allah ask the Sheikh this now. Allah He kept saying the same thing. That's what Sheikh Abdul Razak saying this. Yeah. Never, Memorize never, what hadith. Yeah, so, never uh, waver. Allah Akbar. Never waver. And you know that he has a story about that. Remember, he went to Africa and he said, I can't remember what country it was, but he was talking about when he went there, there was a lot of bid'ah, there was a lot of shirk, there was a lot of just, it was corrupt, right? Mm-hmm. People stealing, people doing a lot of different things. He started teaching this book, I already know where you Yeah. He said, by the end of his trip, finishing the book, he said, Well, Allah has seen a difference. Absolutely. And it just changed, it was starting to change the community. This near, this book right here is a nirma. Allah is a yeah. overlooked, this, amazing yeah. book. Allah, this, yeah, that's this, the one, man. Yeah, SubhanAllah, this is that's why the, I love this shake so much to this day <clears throat> because that advice actually molded me. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of um, new Muslims in general, you know, don't really have any direction on how to start building a foundation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, because, you know, you get... You get this. You get the basic advice. You should read the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mean, like, you can read the Quran. Mm-hmm. You know, some of the Quran is just clear in itself, mm-hmm. but a lot of the Quran has to be explained. Exactly. No. Then you know another direction would be you know, you know, read the Hadith. Yeah. Okay. You can read Sir the Hadith. Hadith. It's yeah, too much. Yeah. yeah, you can read <laughs> the Hadith, but implementing it's something also else. needs you know some form of guidance. No. So, no. so the beauty about 40 hadith Mm -hmm. is that it is a great introduction to the religion a hundred percent you know what i'm saying and when the shake i mean wallahi i i i I don't know how many times i kept trying to allude to another question he will only revert back to the same answer and i learned later that that was implementing hikmah that was wisdom yeah yeah, that he would not allow he wouldn't he wouldn't Catered to my zeal. Yeah, but the yeah. zeal was there. It's like I'm yeah, thirsty. Yeah, like yeah. feed me more. Yeah, it's like yeah. give me something else. Like give me something else. Yeah, what's next? But, but scholars <laughs> know, and this is the beauty of the early oh. man. This is why people can't use the term sheikh or alam loosely. Yeah, no. 100%. because the assessment that scholars have when they stand before an individual, mm-hmm. they're able to gauge and determine what capacity that individual has. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. And at the time. All of this makes sense to me later, yeah. but at the time, the shape was doing me a, a justice. Hundred percent, no. yeah. Because yeah. he went and allowed me to, you know, just veer off into this, the, 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 you know, what I'm saying this zillful type of emotion. He kept it, you know, confined to a place where I just got defeated. Like, Allah you know what? Right. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I don't like, accept yeah, it. Yeah, don't I don't accept it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is something, Subhanallah, you reminded me about um, the scholars. Generally speaking, that are Rabbaniyu. And yeah, there are yeah, people so. who cultivate, yeah. right? And this is the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is why you have different hadith where you have the companions asking the same question, but getting what? Different answers. Different no. answers yeah. Why? Because of the hikmah. Rabbani. Each, each person is different. Each one is different. A different so situation. Rabbani, the scholars, they mention, Man huwa al-alim al-Rabbani, alladhi yurabbi ala sigar al-ilmi qabla kibayi. Hey, it's the one who cultivates people upon the small knowledge before the big knowledge. In other words, 100%. those issues that are easily understood and are important before mm-hmm. they dive into the more complicated, mm-hmm. bigger issues. So that's a danger because now somebody becomes Muslim. What do these um, khawaris, takfiris, what do they do? Mm-hmm. You become Muslim, they want to put the weight of the whole ummah on your shoulders. Oh, look at Palestine. What's so happening in this yeah. country? So Allah, how? social issues. And, and look. And you know what? Even on a smaller issue, not to cut you off. No. Mm-hmm. Another thing you run into mm. is, you know, the awam, mm. the lay people, mm-hmm. the little bit that they know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they want to bombard the new Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like the first thing you need, you know, they, they on your head about the asbal, like, oh, your pants, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know, Fatia, yeah, you always talk about pants, you know what I'm saying? So this is what a lot of reverts run into, and I yeah. think that, you know, <clears throat> that would be a 
podcast in itself. Hundred percent. Talking about all the different conditions that come with being a revert and stuff that you know those who are entrusted with you know aiding, cultivating, and nurturing them upon Islam. It will point out, you know, the uh, 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 you know how how severe that is. Yeah. To be able to identify and acknowledge those things. Hundred percent. So that can even become a program, really. Absolutely. Have a, have a new Muslim program. Absolutely. Yeah. Help help develop them to get past, like, because, like you said, you know, you have a, the awam, but the general people, but you also have just a lot of information generally out there. Different communities, different people. We need to make sure we have something for the awam or the the new Muslims, rather. To grow and cultivate. So inshallah, they become inshallah, we have, huh? <coughs> inshallah, yeah. we inshallah, have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inshallah, we have. We're going, we going to announce that. <laughs> we definitely don't want to digress so, when we uh, speak about, you know, this benefit that the brothers. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah bless it. Allah bless it. 